Alright everybody, how are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are finishing off the, the series we've done today. I've really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys have too. Um, <laughs> this content won't suit everybody, but it does suit me because, God, I've had a lot of experience with weed. I really have. You know, a lot more than, than, than you know, anyone would would know or expect, probably. I've kept it quiet because I've... I've had this this feeling ever since I started smoking, you know, being that it is illegal, I felt deep down that smoking weed made you a bad person, and it doesn't. Smoking weed does not make you a bad person. And so I've convinced myself of that now. So I'm complete, you know, I'm going to I'm going to speak about it pretty openly. I have had a lot of experience and and you guys will probably hear about that in future videos. But for today, we're going to continue in this series and we're going to we're going to watch... Oh, shit! Fuck, there's a spider on me. <laughs> oh, shit. It's called Carving on Cannabis with a Snowboard Gold Medalist. And I'm assuming, and I'm assuming it's going to cover a top-level athlete, Canadian Olympic snowboarder Ross Rebagliati. Rebag, Rebagliati? Uh, embraces his infamous past and embarks on a new venture. Ross was once embroiled in uncharted controversy at the 98 Olympics where he won gold and then tested positive for cannabis in their first ever snowboarding giant slalom event. In the end, there was no infraction of the rules and his gold medal was reinstated. Interesting. 1998. They hadn't, they hadn't caught on. They hadn't made rules yet. Fast forward to today where cannabis culture and legislation has drastically changed. Ross is now the go-to guy for cannabis in athletics. He openly helms a thriving cannabis company which is a direct nod to his past, Ross's gold. Ross whisks, whisks us around Whistler, showing us how he's fully embraced and integrated cannabis into his life and diet. Consuming cannabis helps to fuel his body by increasing his appetite, essentially giving him the munchies, which is what this series is called, and enabling him to consume the calories he needs to actively perform and function as a faster and stronger athlete. If you do have cannabis, make sure you do have food nearby because you're going to feel hungry. <laughs> and that is a quote directly from our gold medalist, Ross Rebagliati. Okay, so this series is actually about food. And so this fella has to eat a lot of food to keep up with the demands of his physical activity, being a snowball gold medalist. And to help with that, he uses cannabis. Call it medicinal, call it recreational, we're going to watch it. But first, I actually want to roll up my own uh, recreational, unfortunately even though weed doesn't make you a bad person. Um, joint. Uh, we've, we've gone through two. This is the third. And I'll leave it up to you to decide whether it's affected my <laughs> motor skills or speech in a negative fashion. It may have, but I feel pretty damn good. So <laughs> Let's get this going. Should I start it? Alright. Look at that We're view. We're gonna go have a little safety meeting in the trees over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're having a safety meeting in the trees, eh? So they are at the top of the mountain with a little cone in their pocket, about to hit it and go snowboarding down the mountain. Can you imagine anything more fun than that? I simply can't. It's a little ski chair. The fuck? That's good enough. What are they doing? I don't even know. I don't know what that is. Is that a vaporizer? Or like a dab? A, a really tiny dab thing? <laughs> vaporizer. Good luck rolling a joint that fast in the woods. Yeah, I know. Fucking hell. Tell me about it. Look. Look at the shit that I'm dealing with. Not quite as convenient as just being able to vaporize it like the way we do. Alright, give, give us a bit of that. that. Okay. If you are going to use cannabis, make sure you have some food nearby. Because you're going to feel hungry. Cannabis is definitely a performance enhancer. People who do anything, any sport, any activity, any hobby can be using cannabis and do use cannabis. So. Everybody, you know, has their choice to do 
the things that make them feel that is very interesting so he's just gone straight out and said cannabis is a performance enhancer which basically means that i guess it should be disallowed in sports because for those who don't decide to use it or maybe no 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 because if it is if it's legal then it's just like i guess caffeine it's just like i don't know what's another supplement What's another, what's another very weak form of drug that's still allowed, like paracetamol, ibuprofen? It's going to be on the same level as that, so if you want to use it, you can. If you need to use it for whatever reason, you can. But not everyone will. So I guess it's okay. It feel good, and for me and for millions of people, cannabis is one of those choices. My name is Ross Rebliati, and I'm the 1998 gold medalist for giant slalom and snowboarding. How sick, eh? I am a gold medalist. 1998 gold medalist. <sighs> well, I am kind of like a silver medalist. Got 100,000 subs, it's not too bad. First time snowboarding was at the Olympics. I'm just gonna plug in this bolt. That is cool though, it's the first time snowboarding was at the Olympics. You, pro you guys probably just heard that and I had to repeat it for whatever reason. Anyway. Cannabis has been a way to increase my appetite and give me the munchies as they say. That's been a good thing for me because sometimes I could go like the whole day without even eating and then you know wake up in the morning with super low blood sugar and in a bad mood that looks delicious about the day at all cannabis had a lot to do with my i can guarantee that this blender is going to be far too small to uh mix it up or maybe he's got a neutral bullet my training and my eating habits and being able to uh continue doing it on a daily basis it's a damn full cup periods of time in a lot of ways cannabis is my fuel Oh no! I consume mostly edibles. I loved the, the shakes because Magic I just bullet. can't imagine in my head having to eat something that I have to chew. I just want to get it in me. I'm not making a big production out of the fact that I'm eating something. I just want to get fuel into my body the fastest way I can. He's got an eating disorder. He doesn't like eating. Look at him. He's fucking lean, isn't he? I tested positive for cannabis in the 98 Olympics in Nagano after I won the gold medal in the giant slalom event for snowboarding. I ended up in the Japanese police station being interrogated for, you know, the good part of the day. That caused a media frenzy and it was a pretty crazy time. We, we appealed the decision and lost uh, two times. And then it went to a court of arbitration where those officials uh, just basically discovered that cannabis actually wasn't on the list of banned substances and so I was actually allowed to keep my medal. You know, there was a lot of attention on me for all the wrong reasons and uh, it really wore me out. By the time I got back to Canada, I, was, I lost like 15 or 20 pounds or something like that. So it was a stressful event and the whole cannabis thing took a long time for it to manifest to where it is today. Oh man, he would have seen the whole thing being embroiled in that in 1998 and here we are 20 years later he has seen the entire shift how interesting this is just from one of my uh, friend's daughters who was probably about seven or eight at the time after I, after Nagano in 98 and so she drew this picture of me and got it to me and here it says I hope my dad grows up to be like you it just was motivation for me to like keep going. Since 98 I've had problems getting into the United States. Okay well the first paragraph is pretty easy to figure out. Rebliati can go to Salt Lake City to see the Winter Olympics oh, next gosh. week if he shows up at the US border with a note from his doctor saying he is drug free. Salt Lake City they across the border. Yeah. That's, that, that seems kind of crazy. That's it? fucked up. It was up. crazy in it. So it was like that. Snowboarding was kind of the outlaw sport back in the day and cannabis was definitely outlawed. For me to inadvertently test positive for cannabis after winning a gold medal in the sport of snowboarding it was a major controversy. I had huge anxiety over it. I didn't know if I was even gonna use cannabis anymore. Look at the, the glasses! The support that I got was overwhelming and it was great but there still was a lot of people that weren't supporters. I mean, it was definitely a case of politics. It was just a lot of stress and not anything that I was ready for. You know, I prepared myself to win 
and that was about it. I didn't prepare myself for the day after. Yeah, man, that would have... Jeez. Imagine that. Going from winning to getting your fucking medal taken off you because you get caught with some weed. God. Mm. Oh, yeah, and Salt Lake City was 2002, wasn't it? So that was the next one. That was what that, uh, that article was about. Right now, it's probably close to 6 in the morning. I usually wake up sometime before 5. Even though I enjoy waking up, medicating is part of the reason why I enjoy waking up early. That just kind of takes the edge off. If I'm stiff or anything I don't, like that, I don't know what that is. Before, you can right away start feeling more like your muscles are loosening up and you're starting to become more more flexible. I'm 43 now, so it's kind of like you notice that you're not 23. These vapes are, are pretty much 99% of how I medicate. He's ready to I go use now. Cannabis infused medicated honey for my sweetener in the coffee. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon. You get the good qualities of the coffee. And that the was about a teaspoon, buddy. The caffeine's waking you up and getting your circulation going. The caffeine actually is, acts as a delivery system for the CBDs. It's been really exciting to learn how. I quite enjoy myself uh, using both substances, caffeine and cannabis, together. Cannabis works with the human body because we have so many receptors in our body naturally for cannabinoids. And so when you consume cannabinoids it evens you out because you have a deficiency in it so if you consume it you can top it up they're like plugs with nothing in okay them. i'm not sure about that take that with a grain of salt but continue so you're just plugging no, sorry in. he's got his own business too of course ross's gold sorry we saw it in the previous video with the nba they've always got a company involved and i'm thinking i should fucking start one all the plugs in your brain your body is made for cannabinoids that might be a controversial. Although I have seen YouTube channels that have been weed related that have been terminated just this past year in the last few months. So I think YouTube is, is changing. I feel like the freedom of speech factor is, is reducing or at least, well, yeah, I mean, most videos, if you do mention something you're not supposed to, it's just not monetized. But now, you know, if they're actually deleting videos and deleting channels, then you've really got to look you really got to look out, but uh, please continue. Thing to say, but it's the truth. We Ross is gold. My name, and we wanted to associate it with my Olympic performance, but my last name is just too long for mm. everybody to recognize or be able to pronounce, and so it just turned out that Ross is gold was the name we chose. Right now, we're just sticking to glass, and we do have. Uh, <laughs> look at him. He's doing an outdoor fucking photo shoot. Yeah! Holding up a bong, man. I don't know about that. I don't know. It's glorifying it. It really is. I don't know if I agree with that. I just... I don't know. Mm. Someone's always going to be making money, but... Uh. Uh, hemp products coming out in the United States. We're licensing and I don't know if you should be standing there with a bong like that. Like. So, everything from... Cannabis products and derivatives and edibles. And See, I've never had any wax or any dabs or anything. I'd really like like a nice pure hit um, just to see what that's like. You know, the edibles in general are, are... Edibles, I've experimented with very, very few. I'd love to try different ones. Coming down the line is what the future of the industry looks like. We're using cannabis with sports. If you're not used to the idea of using cannabis, doesn't seem like the right thing to do. But once you learn about how it What's works, this? and you realize that it's definitely a good idea. So he's had his morning coffee, his morning dose, and now he's in the gym. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I got onto the World Cup tour, and that's when I realized it was going to be a different, uh, a different story. I was competing against guys that were. 100 pounds heavier than I was. There's was no weight class. And the heavier you are, the faster you can go. I had to go from like 170 to 190. I mean, some people can't stop eating. I'm not like that. I, I can barely get food into me. Mm. Yeah. I just don't feel like eating. For me, the cannabis really Said helps. that before. Increase the appetite and get me into the gym. Yeah, get true. that motivation. So he uses, uh, yeah, because this, this show is actually about eating, isn't it? So 
He uses it as as munchies. Yeah, that'd be all right. Depending if you dose yourself properly, you wouldn't have, you you don't want to have too much too early in the day. In fact, I never have it in the morning because, uh, you know, nah, it's too early. Keep the motivation going for years on end. You know, you go from a high level with people cheering for you, and you get that rush of being on TV, and then you're done. I think a lot of athletes can get a depression because regular oh, life hell is yeah. not the same. We're almost like soldiers in a way where what we did was so not like reality that when you get back to reality it's just tough so mm. i found that i just kept working out it's my way to kind of stay into it cannabis is definitely a performance enhancer and it definitely did help me by the time i arrived at the olympics years and years later i was stronger and faster and i think that the gym is the main catalyst and staying in shape and eating and cannabis can be a part of that healthy lifestyle Good workout guys. That's pretty much like day 100 in a row. Doesn't look like he has too many responsibilities though. I mean that's the thing like you've got to be realistic. You can't be smoking weed all day just enjoying yourself all the time. You've got to knuckle down and do some serious stuff. Although if you're a professional snowboarder and that's what you do for a job and you spend your time on the mountains, there'd be nothing better than smoking weed all day. That'd be absolutely incredible. I'm actually just starting to feel the effects of the coffees that I had earlier today. When you eat something, it usually takes about a half an hour to 45 minutes to start feeling it, which is probably about as much time as we've been gone from the house right now. How long was your workout? Did you work out for like 20 minutes? What are you talking about? <laughs> look at his house though. How cool does that look? That looks awesome. For an athlete, the cause of most pain is inflammation of your your joints and, and your muscles after a workout. And um, you can reduce that pain and sometimes completely kill it altogether through an anti-inflammatory. And if you can get that through a natural source, like cannabis for example, which actually has one of the strongest anti-inflammatories that have ever been found, I just figure that's got to be a better source than taking an Advil for example. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're heading into the main parking lot for Whistler Black Hole. We're gonna go park over beside uh, Rebliati Park. Rebligi... What was his name? Ross Rebligati. How did he say it? I was waiting to hear how you said it. Park over beside uh, Rebliati Park. Rebliati, okay. Reb... Rebliati, okay, so the G is silent. Rebliati. Got his own park. Ready to go. I got the munchies right now. Okay. Turkey bacon. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, um, can I get one of those? He's loving life. He's about to go rip some shreds on the mountain. He's going to have a nice feed. He's got the munchies. Fucking hell, I couldn't think of anything better. Those uh, paninis. <laughs> Can I have a panini? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Tomato in there. Yeah. I know those that feels. Now, do you see how hungry I got after I had a couple of babes? Boom, I got to eat now. Boom. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have realized I was hungry until it was too late. What's too late? Low blood sugar. Probably a lot of crimes were committed on, on low blood sugar. <laughs> Can't, doesn't your pancreas regulate your blood sugar properly? Well, I guess if you don't I eat much. I ski raced until mm. I was 15, and then that year I started snowboarding, and I never skied again. And that was 1987. I bought skis two years ago. Look at that! That's I incredible. Was impressed by the advancement. I love the snow. Ski technology took. It's just different. And so I've been away from skiing for 25 years, and I was just so intrigued by the new technology. And I still love snowboarding. So bright. Now my passion. It's so incredibly bright up there, isn't it? And skiing, so it's just the way it goes. I don't know about that. <laughs> Fuck! I'd be... 
<laughs> Isn't it so funny when you see someone skiing and they come for and they fucking fly fly off. Oh man, they fall over. We used to go on ski trips with school because where I'm from, Christchurch, there's like five or six ski fields within about three or four hours. And um in the winter there's a shitload of snow and and <laughs> if you see someone coming and they just they can't stop and like they just know that they're stuffed and they just have to fall over and just take the brunt of the fall and I mean as long as they don't hurt themselves it is absolutely hilarious <laughs> uh, good times I'd be selling I'd be staying way away from the edge if it was me but it's skiing's the kind of thing like if you take a break you take too too much time off you kinda of have to learn it again or that's what it's been like for me but if um you know, if you go for a day and then you go up the next day, it's like you've, you're sweet. But it's not quite like riding a bike. Not quite. It's a bit harder. Snowboarding's good though. Cannabis is interesting in a lot of different ways that you wouldn't expect. For example, when you're going fast on skis, your mind is actually processing things faster than it would normally, which creates the illusion that things are coming at you more slowly. So it gives you more time to make decisions when you're competing for a hundredth of a second. Um, you can't really overlook anything. You're the professional athlete. Refueling time. More like pain killing time too. Yeah, your knees sore? Yeah. Tell him what happened, Ian. I broke my femur paragliding this summer. So they prescribed me morphine and codeine and all these heavy painkillers and I just chucked him. I don't even don't even mess around with that stuff. You can't feel when your injury is bothering you when you have such strong painkillers. It masks the pain. I just use cannabis as a painkiller. You can still feel the pain but it makes it bearable even though you can still feel it. This will mm -hmm. seriously help. So smooth. <laughs> so smooth, dude. I think a lot of athletes Good to go. Retire from sport. Good to go. One way or another. Man, I feel like I need to smoke up now. Figure out what it is that motivates them. And for me, it was. They're off. Still. They're racing. Like in the winter time, I, I skate ski, so that in the in the summertime, I can be a strong road biker right off the bat. But at the same time, I'm road biking so that I can be fast on my skate skis in the winter. I'm just like cross training constantly for like different seasons and different sports. I think cannabis is he just loves it. the whole reason why I, I have the energy to do that. People who do anything, any sport, any activity, any hobby can be using cannabis and do use cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Set you down, I'ma say that. Money me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh. So I'll take that. Ask them now, we'll save that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm 